Here is how you update to iOS 18. But first, hit the like and subscribe buttons down below. It really helps me out. Thank you. So first of all, we want to back up our iPhone to prevent any unwanted data loss. So we first open up settings. Then we will select our name at the very top. And if prompted, we will tap on terms and conditions and we need to agree to the new terms and conditions. You may not need to do that. We then select the iCloud and iCloud is Apple's cloud storage where we can do the data backups. So we want to scroll down. We want to select the iCloud backup and we want to back up our phone. If you run out of iCloud storage, you may need to pay a monthly subscription to continue backing up. My personal iPhone constantly has been backed up to iCloud. I do pay for extra storage, but you can back up your iPhone using the iTunes software on a Windows or Mac computer completely free if you want to. Once you're backed up, we're going to head to our homepage settings. And to get the iOS 18 software update, we need to head to general. And then we need to head to software update. So you should see the iOS 18 appear in your software update. In my case, I saw the iOS 18. You can see it's around seven gigabytes and it does show the new features there. If you are not seeing iOS 18 in your software update, Every iPhone from iPhone XS and newer, XR and newer, SE 2 and newer, they all get the iOS 18. So you may want to try in a couple of hours uh, to get the iOS 18 option because a lot of people are downloading iOS 18 at once and Apple servers may be glitched. So I'd recommend trying again tomorrow, try again in a couple of hours. Once you get the iOS 18, you select the update now option and then in a couple of hours, the software should automatically install on your phone. If not, there'll be an install now button you can tap on and it will install the iOS 18. Once updated, there's a couple of, you know, warnings that you need to know about. Uh, so the first one is you've heard about Apple intelligence. Uh, so I have Apple intelligence on this iPhone, but it's not showing on this one. Apple intelligence isn't actually available in iOS 18. So if I go to general and about, I'm on 18.0 here. And so actually you need to be on iOS 18.1, which is pre-release software. It hasn't came out to the public, but it will release in October. So if you're wondering what Apple intelligence is, which is this, um, you know, that's just something to keep in mind. And another thing too, is many of the AI features are you know missing so if i edit a photo i have the cleanup option in ios 18.1 i don't get that in ios 18. you can do call recording in 18.1 this is not available in 18.0 so when you do update to ios 18 just know if features are missing it's not always that your iphone is too old it's just you need to wait for the ios 18.1 to enjoy the suite of features in iOS 18. But once you are updated, as long as the phone is working, then you're good to go. There is as far as zero chance as possible that your iPhone will cause problems when updating, but we created the backup so we can always restore data if something goes wrong.